Hello, hello, friends! Today we're gonna complete the very first quest of New Arc Line, and dare I say it, the best steampunk CRPG since Arcanum of Steamworks and Magic Obscura. The quest is called From the Very Beginning, and actually it will be a second quest, but first quest will be some kind of prologue, and I don't want to make too much spoilers, so we will go from this one. This quest will be just huge, covering the whole area, there will be true side quests, and four even smaller activities, and those activities are very easy to miss, but with me you're gonna miss nothing, so hit a like button and let's go! And maybe you wonder which role I choose for myself, well friend, I will be a mage who loves voodoo magic, I'm lack of strength, constitution and wisdom, but I will rely on dexterity, perception and intellect. Let's see what gonna happen. Ah, what a beauty, we just arrived at docks and complete customs. And by the way, friend, if you will be polite to police officer and agree to follow his orders, you can get yourself a proc. A proc will be called Low Obedient Citizen and it will increase your mockery by 5, not bad. I just wonder what will happen if you decide to be a bad guy and will not follow his orders. If you try it, let me know in the comment section below. But for us, it's time to begin exploration, to begin our adventure. So let's go! First, we need to find Michael and find out what happened to our suitcase, cause you know there will be something illegal, something important hidden in this suitcase. But first, friends, let's go, let's try a skill check. It will be nearby and let's see how it all works. And by the way, there will be plenty of scene you can loot or steal all around, and I will miss a lot of those. Because probably it will be not interesting for you, just watch how I'm looting all of those crates. Now let's go, skill check. You see a bread crumbs. Hmm. It looks interesting, but what gonna happen if we throw them in the air? Let's try it, let's do it. As you throw a bread crumbs, a fish jump out of water. And I have ability to catch this fish, of course if my athletics is good enough, and friends my athletics is only 15, it's very low, but let's do it. So a dice roll and of course I failed. I just wonder, is just a usual fish, or oh, there will be something interesting inside this fish, also if you catch it, let me know. Because I'm a mage, I will never catch this fish. Let's go further. There is something I want to show you. And here we go, a crane. It's a technology and you can see a crate full of loot over here. I'm playing as a mage and there is nothing in the whole world I can do to make this crown working. Literally nothing. But if you playing as a technician, there will be a way. Want to see what this treasure hide? Let me show you. Such a nice treasure, but unfortunately I will have to miss it. Let's go further, let's go, let's try to get our suitcase. And there will be event over here and event over here, but we will come back to those events a little bit later. First let's go find Michael. No, first let's go. Observation failed, excellent, very nice of you dices. First let's go to our suitcase. Of course it will be not here, but here we will encounter our first fight. And what most important if you play as an age, go over here and loot this crate, cause there will be a voodoo stuff. Over here lives a ready, and there are no way you can defeat this ready without a powerful voodoo stuff or any other weapon if you're a mage. If you're a fighter, probably it will be not a big deal. 
And here we go, our first combat against the creature of Beryl, I don't know, creature of sewers. So, it will be turn based, every character will have defense armor, and we need to penetrate this armor, a white bar, first to get to the health, but it's not a big deal, you see, I can do 11 damage, but with my bare hands it will be like 4 or maybe 5, not a huge damage at all. Ok, let's just go and win this fight, ready? You will die today. I will just use my stuff, not using any other special abilities, because it's a frost fight and actually we don't need to use them. Later, totem, all those courses. Hexes, everything will be important. But right now, just like that. Goodbye, Reti. It was a pleasant surprise, but no, no, I'm still alive. And there are no suitcase over here. Something wrong. Something definitely wrong. You see area and nothing, literally nothing. But we can steal other suitcases. Why I'm looting this one? Because I want to show you how magic scrolls work. If you use this magic scroll, you will get a card. Cards will be very important, they will help you. First of all, you will be able to craft enchantment spell with the help of the cards, but you also will be able to use these cards when you fail a check. It's so important, and cards will be limited, very limited. That's why I choose myself, a trait of outsider. I'm not from this world, but when I encounter a rift I get additional card. That's interesting. It gives no bonuses except cards. Let's go. It's time to meet Michael. Hey, big guy, do you know Michael? Feeling lucky, folks? Place your bets on Michael Mortensen. Odds are five to one against. You're certain that fellow holding the Crimson Arrow sign just announced the very person you're supposed to meet on the docks. Okay, then we go where? Over here, of course over here. Let's do it. Read all, steal from everyone, talk with everybody. It's very interesting, you will get plenty of floor, but I just focus on quests and interesting moments. And here we go, Michael is fighting right now. It's a big guy over here. Michael, you can do it. I bet on you. Uh oh, I just failed my bet. Michael, you're a big guy. That boy oh. was a real cracker. Up until your grand entrance, that is. My sniffer feels like a plate of mashed taters now. And I'm not loving it. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad you're here. But you could have chosen a less no stumping moment, huh? Okay, so it's my fault. You want to say it's my fault? It's not your fault, mate. Not. Everything will be okay. Hey, worst case scenario. I'll buy myself a beer or three. All right. It seems we got off to a bit of a rocky start. Let's wipe the slate clean. Mr. Simon told me a little bit about you. So... Now it's time I introduce myself. Good. Name's Michael Mortensen. Let to meet mostly you. Mostly folks call me Mick Rosie. Mick. I work for Mr. Simon, managing his business affairs now and then. And you? Nice to meet you, Mick. My name is Wizard Born. Well met indeed. Now, let's get down to brass tacks. In the new world, everyone's got a debt hanging over their head. Me, for example, I have to get you to Mr. Simon. But there's a snare. I took a beating, and now I owe Ernie. Ernie's the bloke with the purse and the trusty notebook. Don't take this the wrong way, me. Not holding a grudge or anything. But I got knocked out because of you. It's a bit of a tangled tale, but now it's you who's got a debt to settle with Ernie. Oh, that's the interesting turn of the story. Now I need to pay his debt. Really? Okay, okay, don't worry. 
You're in the port, buddy. To make a few. Let's keep it. Okay, I'll back when I have a money. The goal is to collect three hundred dollars. These dollars, and you can do it by multiple ways. But the easiest, we are in docks, and there is carnival going on. You can go to this fellow and take. Your part in fighting competition, but I'm a mage, it's a brawl and I will lose, I don't know, 99% I try it few times, every time I lose, every, literally. So let's go, let's try to earn money differently. You see, carnival is going on, we need only 300 dollars, you can steal it, loot it or win it in those competitions. Hmm. So, you want me to shoot from gun and win prizes? No, I'm a mage, I'm not touching the technology monstrosity. No, go away, not for me. Gun, oh, disgusting. Let's loot this case and steal a gun, cause you know, it's a good gun, why not? Maybe one day my companion will need it. And let's steal a little bit more, cause we need the money. Now let's go over here. Quiz master. Hmm. So you're gonna quiz me, you're gonna tell riddles, and I will have answers. It cost only five dollars. Let's do it. And the price will be one hundred fifty dollars. And friends, I'm a mage, and it's really easy to win, cause you know my knowledge is good. It's forty. So why not to use it? At least I'm good at something. Oh, spot on. It's a correct answer. Okay, your next question. And we got a meditation. Hmm, also 45. It's my strong side. But knowledge? Let's use it. We give a correct answer and we got one more. And this time I also will use knowledge. Thank you, I won, I received dollars, but that's not all, I still need more dollars to collect, and to do it let's take a part in this competition, hmm, it feels like I need to hit the steam hammer and, ok, but my strength is not good at all, maybe there is something I can do, let's go back, let's try to examine this thing, can I do something with it? Can he do something at all? Okay, let's try it. Anyway, maybe, maybe, somehow we will manage to do it. I will pay five dollars. And you see, observation worked perfectly. And I can, no, not athletics, but sleight of hand. Dexterity, do you remember? We can trick this mechanism. Of course, if a dice roll will be good, and my dice roll was perfect. It's time to use the hammer, now our chances 95%. And let's go! Whoa, it seems that I won, perfect, excellent. Just give me my money, no trickery was involved. And I just read this now, no, no, no. Look at it, musicians are playing the atmosphere, they all celebrating, and you will meet plenty of travelers. They will tell the same information over and over again, but anyway, go talk to them. And I believe now I possess, yeah, 300 dollars. Mick, don't worry, I got your money. Splendid. We can go now. By the way, where's your suitcase? Mr. Simon said you would have one. Didn't you pick it up yet? Mick, we got a problem. Suitcase just disappeared because the line is not working. I don't know what right. to do. Let's head over there. I'll follow you. Okay, let's go. Let's check this place once again. Let's do it. It's not far away. Just across the square. And I remember one very interesting thing. If you loot too many sealed cases, the guy over here, this, you see? The Guardian, he will attack you. Let's do it. 
Let's provoke this fellow. Hmm, thirty dollars? Nice! More suitcases. cases, maybe this one. Thirteen? Oh! What do you mean, fellow? It was a my suitcase, maybe I miss it? No worries about it. And you can use your skill checks once again, and I will try. Deception. Fifty. Barely, barely. But I managed to do it. I trick him, I fool him, go away. Oh, you see, there will be so many skill checks and so many different approaches to solve one situation. But okay, Mick, let's go over here. You see? It's empty, nothing here. No suitcase at all. Hmm, where can it be? It's broken, it's absent. Probably we need to do something else. We need to leave the... Oh, by the way, this crate looks so big. I just can't miss it. Three dollars? Really? Oh, and let's take a look how Severin works. Because it will be a very interesting minigame. Let's try to steal from this guy. Slide of hands and I fail. Don't you dare. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, I'm just leaving. Don't worry about it. It will be encounter over here also, but first we need to go through this police, police officer. In a flashy tech outfit stands on the stoop, engaged in a quiet tete-a-tete -tete with a man. For some reason this piques Mick's interest. A man a very suspicious a police officer. Who accepts it with a subtle nod. He's corrupted, I know it. In return. Every few seconds, the cop checks his surroundings, suggesting or this is a exchange. Listen up, partner. I gotta sort a little something out with Jimmy. But I'll be back in two shakes, don't you worry. All right, go ahead. I had a feeling we were gonna get along. Hey, Jimmy, my man. He's such the a cop big startles man. at Mick's exclamation, his countenance darkening as he looks up at the imposing giant. It's abundantly clear that he's less than thrilled by Mick's appearance. Jimmy, you owe me a little something, and since I'm in the neighborhood, I thought I'd cash in. The policeman's face grows another shade darker as he forces a smile onto his face. Yeah, I think we need to have a little one-on-one -on -one off the record. The policeman nods pointedly in your Oh, direction. me? The Don't worry about The policeman's eyes are darting me. about, and he's breathing in harsh gasps. Let's do nothing. Just Without nothing. Without ever taking his eyes off the policeman, Mick wordlessly extends an open hand. Jimmy hesitates, but only briefly. His gaze snapping from the towering giant to you, then back again. Finally, he lets out a long, reluctant sigh and drops the mysterious package into Mick's package. <sighs> Damn it, mysterious package. Mick grins with satisfaction. I keep this between you and me, all right? Not a word. To another living soul. I understand. I'm not a kid in short pants, you know. Well, friends, it will happen that your companion is a little bit drug addictive, and here you will get a chance to become drug addictive too, because he will offer you something. Oh, Jimbo and me. And it will be completely up to you to use it. I can not. touch him up for something good. Okay. How do I put it? To stay in prime condition like this requires a little something extra. A little something on, extra, you say? There's something I've got to take care of. Mick carefully unwraps the parcel to reveal a tiny heap of crystalline powder. Crystalline it powder? with different colors in the sun. Often, I'd have never made it through the mines without it. 
I was popping every single day. The work was that brutal. Thankfully, one of them flying critters was a friend of mine. Nick expertly snorts up a dose of ortho, and a blissful grin takes over his face. Oh. If you like giving it a shot, it'll toughen no, you No, no. Orphan is Nick. a potent drug no. which amps up your strength and reactions. Strength leads and to a reaction. painful aftermath later. Moreover, it's highly addictive. Highly addictive. No, it's a first mission and I don't want to be addictive. But maybe in the next evil playthrough. Who knows? Say and say pass. You've got no At idea least this what you're time. Up, pal. Okay, and now we got access over here to the next area. But before we will go here, there is still a single true we can do here. Let's go back. Let's go over here. It's time to solve some minor quest. This will be a friend of our mic. And he's a thief, a master thief, a pickpocket master. And he will offer us a small challenge, a work to do. There is apprentice of him. At least he is saying that this is his apprentice. And we need to teach them a lesson. We need to go and steal from their pockets. And they will be dressed like sailors. But I think it's not his apprentice. It's a real sailors. And we need to go and steal from them. But anyway, let's agree, because why not? Let's go, let's do it. No need to convince me, I mean. Let's go, let's solve this little array. So friends, we need to find four sailors. And it will be not hard to do, because all of those sailors will be nearby. The first one will be over here, let's go. The problem will be to actually steal from those sailors. No, not a sailor, oh my bad friends. Let's go back. So the first one will be over here. Well, hello, hello, Mr. Sailor. Let's go, let's steal from him. <laughs> Ah, my chances was low, but somehow I managed to do it. And that's how silvery game will work. You will get point every move in every direction. Will require you to use some points. And don't forget you need to come back. Claiming something will also require points. Let's move over here. We spend one point and let's reveal it. Hmm, and to grab it we also need to spend points. Now let's go further. Oh, it looks disgusting, but let's grab this one, let's go back, we got enough points to escape, and let's choose exit, perfect, we found the first sailor, and we managed to steal from him, time to find the second, from the square, there will be way over here, and to the other side, that's where we need to go, so the next sailor, where are you? Where are you? Observation failed. But sailor is this fellow. You see his uniform. Okay, can we steal from you, mister? And this time again, I'm the luckiest person ever. And you see, it took two squares. Probably it's money. Dollars. Let's collect dollars and... Again, sailors, you eaten... Oh my god, only fruits. Now, we found two of four. The next one will be over here. Let's go. You see this fellow? This time observation worked correctly. One. It means if I have 99% of failure, I will still win. That's excellent. A good news, let's steal from him. Uh oh, 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 bad thing happened. For the sake of the video, I use a little bit of safe scamming, but you don't do it. Accept your fate, whatever it is. It will be much more interesting to play in my real play, so I do like this. And can I escape? Yeah, barely escape. Now only one left to find. Let's go, let's do it. And of course, he will be. 
over here. So, friends, the first one was here, the second over here, one more here, and one more will be over here. Let's go, let's find him. The final sailor. Where are you? Somebody in sailor's uniform. Maybe you? You look like sailor. Oh, yeah, he is a sailor. Let's do it. Let's check his pockets. And once again, success. So, dollars. Let's collect it. And what else? Not enough moves. That mean I was caught? No. Let's go back. Let's run. We found four sailors. And that's exactly what we need to do to complete this quest. A little array, not a quest at all. Billy, are you happy now? We managed to test them all. And of course, quest will be completed. Lessons from the old master. And actually, it was a side quest, secondary quest. How can I miss it? And by the way, Mr. Kavana will be located over here. But let's continue our adventure, because we need to talk to Martin Oldman. And we can meet this character almost at the beginning of the game, and probably it will be a first person you're gonna talk to. But there are no sense in doing it, because we cannot access area, because it's blocked by police, and now we can access it. So, friends, this is the beginning, dogs, and over here, over here, will be a fellow, let's go, let's talk to him, and he seems to be very depressed, he stands in some kind of stupor, let's give him a slap, hey buddy, are you okay, and slap him again, what happened to you, and he will tell us a story, he came here, to gain inheritance, to gain money, to become rich, but to prove it, he need to bring some family relic, and he lost it, he completely lost this family relic, let's use observation, so it was successful, excellent, let's go, of course, we will agree to help him, and if we ask him how this relic is looking, he will tell us that it's ordinary engraved piece of wood, and it's not true, friends, it's just false, I spent hours and hours trying to find piece of wood, but no, it was not piece of wood at all, let's go, friends, let me just show you what you need to do and where is this thing is located. And by the way, before we do it, you see this automaton marching. It's a commercial. Let's go, let's talk with this man. Cause we need to make a diversion, a true diversion. It will give us some bonuses in future. My magic knowledge will allow me to cause a... No, to break him. Let's try to do it. Three. Excellent. Let's go. Error, error, failure. But he will fix it very fast. But he noticed us. He noticed that we are very talented. And he will give us a discount coupon. Minus 50% discount. It's huge. And probably later we will get some quest. If not a quest, we will just buy something with a huge discount. Let's go. Probably it's available only to magic users. But why? Maybe tech users also can break him in some way. Okay. Let's move further. Flower shop. And another raid will be over here. But right now we need to go over here. Friends. You see, we are over here, and machine that spreading luggage is broken, and the gnome who's supposed to fix it is drunk to death. This will be our main quest objective, but right now we are interested in this suitcase. Let's try to open it. Hmm, Mike can do it, but let's inspect it first. Very weird, Mike, can you do it? 
Whoa, chances are really very low. And you see, we can use our magic cards. Probably technician can use something else, different cards. I will use utility card. Will give us more chances. And this time the roll was successful. We got a two dollars. And guess what? This will be a family rally. And actually it's not a piece of wood. It's a ring. Oh, let's just take it. And let's bring it back to Michael. He's not Michael. My bad. Mr. Oldman. There will be so many interesting characters all around. So just don't rush like me through all of those loot and characters. Try to still talk with them. You will learn plenty of interesting stories. Like this automaton. It's very easy to miss. You just walk past it. And that's all. But no, you can broke it. And impress Sailor and he will give you discount. That's amazing. This world is just crazy. So Martin He found it. And yeah, hilarious your description truly did not do the justice. Just like you describe a piece of wood, really? Not really, it was a ring. But we managed to do it, we got $50, a smaller raid is completed. New Ark Line is full of people who desperately need help, and right now we are gonna help a dwarf, in very delicate matter. Let's go friend, let me show his location, he will be near the shop, do you remember a coffee shop? Let's go upstairs. Look at it, sweeping. Oh, the floor, it's so amazing. This world is truly crazy. The game of my dream and it's made by Ukrainians. And I am Ukrainian, so it makes me proud so much, friends. Now, you see this fellow. Let's go, let's talk to him. And it will turn out that this dwarf is waiting for a girl. They don't meet face to face before, only by mailing. And now they have a dating and he is waiting for 6 hours and 15 minutes. The girl is not show up yet. And he intended to wait more, more and more. But he will ask us to go and find her, talk to her. Feldrin is waiting for girl dressed in white. And there are so many girls dressed in white. Let's go, let's find the correct one. Maybe you are? No, it's just a traveler. But what about you? Let's go, let's talk. And not, not her. But she will be not far away, you see. This woman dressed in white, staying in the distance and absorbing the dwarf. Let's go, let's talk to her. And it will be she. But it will turn out that she's a giant. And he is a dwarf. Do you understand all situation? She has a huge doubt about the life in future, that everybody will laugh and so on and so on and so on. You will read all her doubts by yourself, but in the end you will get an option to convince her. True love will overcome any obstacles. I have a plan, please wait here. Of course there will be an option to persuade her and everything will be over, she will just go to dwarf. But it's not interesting, we will do everything by ourselves. And we will get a quest called the Love Story. Let's solve this quest. Let's go and talk to Dwarf. This is a touching story. I like it. I enjoy it a lot. Dwarf, you know what? Your girlfriend is actually a giant. And of course, you have two choices. Love and separation. I will choose love. Okay, what we need to do next? We need to go across the street to this flower shop. Hello, hello, do you have a flowers? And let's try to use charm of my companions. To work perfectly, Ooh. who wouldn't know? 
and I got a bucket of romantic flowers. And if you fail the check, you can just go and buy it. You see, you need this kind of flowers, a romantic bouquet of flowers, not this, not this one. And by the way, let's sell this hammer. I am mage, I don't need hammers and it costs a lot. $300, that's insanity. Okay, goodbye hammer, I don't need you anymore. And maybe I even sell a gun, but later. Now let's go to this fellow, cause we need music, good music. Okay, and there will be plenty of choices how you can make him do what you want to him to do. <laughs> okay, I will try deception. And it worked perfectly. If you fail this check, don't worry, there will be three other checks. And at least one of those checks will not fail. Hmm, everything is ready, dwarf, are you ready? Then let's go. Here's your bucket of flowers and let's do it, let's go. Oh, so romantic. Such a beautiful song. And now they are talking, they are so happy, a dwarf and a giant. Oh my friends, I don't know about you, but I love this story. And here we go, quest is completed, we got how many? 25 dollars, so hmm, armor, but what most important, we gain experience points. Oh, with a warm heart, just take a look at that couple. Let's turn around, cause we got another quest to complete, and this time it will be a little bit sad. Let's go downstairs, and you see there will be a woman, a crying mother, Jean. What happened? What's going on? Please tell me. Jim, my Jimmy, I'm such a terrible mother. And it will turn out that her boy Jimmy is missing. Pass a few checks and you will get an option. How does he look? I will help you to find him. And she will tell you... Oh, by the way, we gain Mike respect. She will tell you that he is a blonde kid dressed in a red jacket. Okay, we got a new mission, and I believe a new quest. The quest is called The Missing Boy, and our goal to go and find him. You see, there will be plenty, plenty of witnesses. Cleaner, policeman, flower girl. Okay, let's do it, let's go. Let's go to the flower girl first. She will be really nearby. Well, do you see a boy? No, no, tell me about the boy. Oh, there was a couple of boys that was running, messing around. She will tell us nothing special. Okay, now cleaner. Cleaner. Where are you? Oh, here you go. Maybe you can tell us something. Cleaner, do you have any information about a boy? And Cleaner will be angry because gang of boys just run over here, turn that fresh can away and now he need to clean it all. It's disgusting, he just say I hate kids and that's all. And no, 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 this is our main objective, let's go further. We will skip police officer because he actually know nothing. Maybe he will give us very important information, but boy we are looking for will be over here, over here. Let's go, let's talk to him. Hello boy, probably you are Jimmy, and this boy will be in some kind of hypnosis. There will be a candy made with magic. Probably someone is trying to kidnap him. It's a terrible situation. Oh, oh, inside failed, but maybe observation. An observation failed too. Well, all my checks failed, and I believe I got no other choice than to go back and talk to mother. Tell her everything. But there will be a story behind it all. I just feel it. Something is not okay here. Maybe a police will be involved. Friend, if you 
if you manage to solve this situation, please drop me a comment. What gonna happen? Because for me, it's the end. I failed all checks. All I can do is tell mother location of her boy. Don't cry, everything fine. I found him. Let's show direction and Jimmy save his near the ark. Go quickly, something strange is going on. Oh, that's interesting story. During my second playthrough, I will definitely go and investigate it. But so far, quest is completed. I gained true experience point. Maybe because I don't solve this quest correctly. Now let's move on a little bit through our main story. We still need to get our suitcase. So let's go to that luggage machine, broken luggage machine. But first, by the way, let's go to cafeteria and buy ourselves a little bit of drinks. We will need wine and we will need beer for different situations. But let's do it like let's buy one beer. Better to buy two, we don't need ten, so two will be enough. And let's buy moonshine. Okay, let's buy two. Thirty dollars, looks like robbery, but I got plenty of unneeded stuff. So that's it, sold. Now let's move on. Because there will be a few situations where you really gonna need it. And one of those situations will be very soon. Of course, if you fail the check. You see, the angry mob, a luggage machine, and a worker who's supposed to fix it. This but is openly we got a problem, angry. he's drunk. He's surrounded by drained wine bottles. Each a testament to his despair. Oh As you God. draw closer, a noxious but familiar odor wafts over you. The acrid tang of rot gum, the cheapest of spirits. Totally plastered, the dwarf is wallowing in his mood. Such a classical Stop situation. Me. Damn it! What do you want? Your bags? Nobody cared a fig about Finley McClatchy as long as everything was working. Nobody! Only when it all broke down, it's did they start going, so much. Finley, can you help me with my suitcase? Finley, can you find my purse? What do you want? Let me guess. Is it luggage? I just bet you want some fucking luggage. It's your work, man. Yeah, we want luggage. And let's see what we can do. We can offer him a bottle or let's try to use Stop a roll. That you care. And of course no, a roll is don't. failed. So we got extra option, a bottle of wine. It's like this. Richard Maxwell Gracefield Parisi the third arrived in town two days ago. He's a famous theater director. There's been a shutdown at the station. And Mr. Parisi was invited to entertain any new arrivals until it's sorted out. And I wanted to be an actor my so whole life. He wanted to be an actor He's in so theater. But whenever people saw me, they would smile. You know what I mean? So this was a chance of a lifetime for me. But he just grabbed his suitcase and walked on by. Didn't even glance in my direction. Okay, friend, dream is a dream. I get it. I'm gonna help you. Okay, I will find this important person and talk with him. Just get my suitcase ready. Oh, thank you so much. And the suitcase? Is it somebody near? It seems no, but it starts fixing machine. And now... Is it ready? No, I guess we need to go and talk with him first. But for no, wait a minute, is it mine? Oh, my luggage, it's time to collect it. Finally, finally, we get our suitcase with something important inside. Quest updated, and our next objective will be. 
talk this mic in a quiet place, but just before it. Or maybe let's go, let's do it, why not? Is it a quiet place? Is it quiet enough to talk? Do you remember we got something illegal in our suitcase, so somehow we need to bring it so police officers and the best way to do it to join the group of artists, but to do it we need to find that important person, the theater director, and become his assistant, that is his plan. We got objective call through to the director of the performance, but just before it we got one more unfinished business over here. So let's go here, you see, there will be a poor woman and a cages full of broths. What happened? Crow woman, and it will happen that some cages are broken and three ravens manage to fly away. Of course, we will find your ravens, don't worry about it. So, where those ravens can be? We are standing over here. And first, let's turn around and let's go backward. To the stairs, we need to go to the stairs. Or there will be crates, you see those crates? And yeah. Probably you already notice a raven. Oh, such a little lovely creature. I completely love birds. Raven, you go with me. Me got 65% chances of catching him. Let's try to do it. And it was successful. We got the first one. And by the way, take a look at Inventor. It looks so amazing. Well, hello, hello, birdie. But we still need to find two more. Do you remember where we found the boy? That exactly where we need to go. I mean, we just need to go straight ahead until the end. Friends, by the way, if I miss something, please let me know in the comment section below. I love this game completely. And I think I searched everything, but maybe not. Maybe there are still so many secrets left. We need to go over here. And let's try to do it without triggering the director, the great performancer. Those friends over here will be another bird we are looking for. Well, hello, hello, birdie. Mike, please do your job. Excellent. Now he is very good at catching crows. Okay. But one more left. Let's go over here. And let's turn to the left. If I remember correctly, we need to go to the left. And by the way, it's not a quest, it's just sideways arrayed a small help for... Oh, oh, director, no. Not like this. And you see, right here, let me show you its location, because it's really very hard to find. Over here will be the last raven. Brody, go with me. Almost, but no, we got it. We got you, crow. Let's go back, let's bring it back. Lady, we got your crows. Are you happy we got all of them? They return to safety. She is happy. She give us a hat and dollars. Excellent. And by the way, you can do something like this and equip your characters. I completely skipping all of this in my video. But you don't, because you will need it later. You will need it very soon. Now let's go. Let's find the director. I guess we done everything that can be done, I mean side missions, only the main quest remains. So let's go, he will be over here. Look at it, watches, orchestra, so beautiful. Plenty of travelers, plenty of things to steal. But here we go. You catch the sounds of a heated argument in the square where a well-dressed dandy is shouting at a syndicate agent. Looks like things are about to get physical. This city is ruled by this syndicate, by the way. Unthinkable! 
Absolutely not. I'm not going to do it. Your edits are a mockery of the performing arts. Richard, it seems you misunderstood me. Whoa, 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 not so fast, fella. It's Richard Maxwell, Gracefield Paracy the third to you. Oh my god. That's Paris with an E. No, of course. But you're deeply mistaken if you think we're asking your opinion on this. The head of the Eastern Syndicate must see the correct version of this play. The one we know he will enjoy. We've already made all the necessary changes. We hired you to direct this performance, and you will do what we tell you to do. Period. <laughs> this is <laughs> Look at him. scandalous! You're making me dizzy. I, I think I'm going to faint. That's oh the end God. of this conversation. I trust we understand each other now. Oh, my vision is going blurry! And, and my legs, <laughs> they're failing she me! Oh, consciousness. I'm going to pass... Richard Maxwell Gracefield the Third closes his eyes and dramatically flops to the ground. The syndicate envoy bends over and discreetly places a folder full of papers in the director's hands. Then, after spitting disdainfully to one side, he departs, leaving the director to his feigned unconsciousness. As <clears throat> the director's right eye opens the merest crack, followed by the left, each lid rising caution. Richard Maxwell Gracefield Parazy the Okay, okay. I will be your new assistant and I'm here to help. Assistant? I thought the world was going to end before you finally showed up. Where the heck have you been? No, don't answer that. I don't care. The whole place is going to hell. The local branch of the syndicate wants to make changes to my script to please their big boss, the head of the Eastern Syndicate. My script of my play. They want to murder my entire artistic aesthetic with their propaganda. And friend, you Moreover, have a choice no to the actors can learn play to a true in such a or time. use propaganda. Especially these actors. Come on, come on. Are you still standing here? Okay, he will give us a quest to find actors and he will tell us that they are... see? They're all drunkards. Oh I'm... yeah, and it's true. <sighs> it's them. really true. It's the worst, worst actors that ever gonna happen. So let's try to take some yes, cash from of him. Of course. We don't have a budget for extra expenses, but I'll give you something out of my own pocket. Okay. And let's use persuasion. About this is very important check about the guy who yes. helped us. Bring him here. And yes, success. I mean the guy who was drunk and he who's supposed to fix the luggage machine. Okay, I'll do Fantastic. it. Fantastic! Now move, move, move! We're running out of time! Okay, we need to find only three of them. And one, we already found one. It will be a fellow who helped us with suitcase. And now, lady, are you actor? Are you the one we are looking for? And it seems yes, but she refused to play and by the way a nice actor. Cause she need a new dress and new dress is in suitcase and she cannot open it and blah 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 the story will be long. But in the end we need to help her open this chest. I will open it for you. I guess it will be not a big deal cause my companion looks strong. But this time I will use voodoo magic. First time. Because I'm a mage after all. Are you happy? Are you agree? I guess yes, we need to find only two more. And by the way, she will be over here. And go talk with this fellow, watermelon seller. That will be an interesting conversation and situation. Now let's go over here. 
I think he will be happy to know the news that his dream is about to come true. Little has changed since your left. Okay, okay. Are you telling me the scene awaits? No way. For such an opportunity, I'm ready to give you my left hand. No, I don't need your left hand. Soon, money won't matter to me. The main scene, your dream will come true. <laughs> he even give me his money and alcohol. Unbelievable. Only one left to find. And it's easy to do. Let's go upstairs once again. The one will be just over here, this fellow. And the second, second will be this one. Observation looks perfectly. Let's go, let's talk to him. He's a true drunkard. Excuse me, are you Ellen? And it's thrown out that yes, he is. All we need to do is to convince him and he is drunk to death. Of course, we can give him a bottle of... Let's give him the best bottle we got, cause why not? And... No. A little bit knowledge. It's settled then. That's it. But there is still plenty of activities left and if you want to get yourself an achievement called Saving the World Will Wait, well friends you need to get them all so let me show you what else you can do. Over here will be a couple and this girl will turn into the bottle of alcohol and believe it or not but she like it this way you of course can dispel all this and she will be angry she will tell you now i need to do daily routine go to work cook and so on but you can find her over here let's go to the left or is it right let's go to the right because there will be few more activities over here in the upper district over here will be a crate with fairy. You can destroy this crate, free the fairy, or you can steal a key from the dwarf and just unlock it, releasing the fairy. Now let's go further. Because we need to go over here. You see this note and this fellow. You must read this note and complete a small quest called Road Watcher. And then you can pretend like you are the friend he was talking to, writing letters to. And maybe even you will get a small reward. But what else, what else, friends? Now we need to go back, we need to go down. There will be a very nasty fellow, very lazy one over here and he will ask you to push his card. Of course, he will offer some money, you can trick him, fool him, just get money and do nothing or you can actually push a card, it's only a click of a button. Let's go back to Carnival where you meet your companion. Shoot with this gun, of course, you can trick this fellow, use your dirty magic and win. And the last thing you need to take. Oh, you need to take a part in this fight and win. That will be all, friend. Achievement will be yours. Of course, after performance. Little left to do. We need to start a performance. And we got a choice to follow the original or follow what Syndicate wrote. Yes, all done. What took you so long? There's only minutes left until the show starts and the actors aren't ready. There wasn't any time for them to study the Syndicate's nightmare script. This is going to be a disaster. I'm picturing it already. Listen, you're my last hope. I need you to work as our prompter. Oh my god, well, but I will agree, because I guess I got no other choice. And here we go, performance. Hey, hello there, fiery gentlemen and divine ladies. Welcome to the exclusive, incredible, and ultra-modern New World! 
I hope your trip here was as magical as my new hairstyle. <laughs> yes, yes, I heard about those few small bumps you faced along the way, but that's all in the past. It's time to move forward into the future. Okay, friends, there will be plenty of conversations. I'm gonna skip them all. Now, today, you will witness a love story unfold and a vicious trap sprung, all in a sea of blood. Let this be a warning for any who dare bridge the gap between technology and magic. Nerio, dear Nerio. He looks amazing. This a snare, for magic and technology clash and flare. Best actor ever. They shan't entwine. And she forgot a line. Now I guess it will be my turn. And you know what? I don't know what is right or not, but I will troop promotion commercial written by Syndicate just to watch the director reaction. Yet, Mr. Zindo's new possibilities now may shine. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> He's fading once again. Magic smikes thy world's not to me. Oh, Nerio, the weaver's darkest blight. Their reckless magic turned day to night. We must respect the laws and ne'er sway. Or risk they'll lead us far astray. Okay, I'm a mage and I don't like my it. Words thou shalt see. Great power from the rifts mine shall be. Weaver's gifts, I'll claim them all. My might and magic. Might and magic. Fall. Oh, reference. Nero, beware! This path is fraught with peril and darkness. Heed the thought. You forgot it? The th Okay, okay, again. In the realm of creation, automatons make their stance, and with a fair maiden's favor, best your magical pants. Oh, oh, that was low. I will ignore. I crave this magic, and I must have more. And violet, my heart's desire, her love and power shall all conspire. Violet, fair violet, I know her well. Her heart is in science, not some spell. To woo her with magic would be a ruse, and such dark intentions she must refuse. Young hearts entangled in this perilous strife, a clash of realms Girl, choose magic. doom in life. Okay. I'm playing against me. Forsaken magic, trust in the syndicate's might. Zindo could have saved his mind amidst this perilous fight. Of course, mighty Zindo. Nerio, dear Nerio, we must now part ways, for magic's darkness obscures your gaze. Probably it's a bad choice for a mage, but who knows? Oh, you forgot a line. The laws decree, in sorrow we must part. A love so pure, fallen to blackest art. No, Violet, can't break free, it's clear. My soul is bound to dark magic. My dear. Oh, Nerio! It was brilliant. Your transformation's too extreme. Abhorred mage, a nightmarish gleam. We can't bridge the gap betwixt realms so vast. For magic and tech allied can't last. Beware of magic, upright and fair. It tempts and beguiles, but can't truly care. Love or friendship with a mage are bare in the blink of an eye. Mage turns nightmare. 
Next time I will be on the side of mages. I just want to see director reaction. That's it friends, performance is over and very little left to do. Let's go over here to the next area. As if from nowhere, but what is it? Voice calls out to you. You turn to find a woman Who standing are you? right beside you. You're all but certain she wasn't there until the moment she spoke. Hey, guys! Hello! Are Very friendly voice. With director Zindo? Well, not really. Oh, we are cooperating. Hey, hey, buddy. Didn't your mom ever tell you not to chat up people you don't know? Especially those throwing around all kinds of questions? No, Mike. This time I can handle this Good by partner. myself. But she's when disappeared. You your brief exchange hmm. with Mick, you find that, that your counterpart has vanished just as quickly as she appeared. And by the way, what happened in your case? Maybe you choose different answers. Judging by everyone else's reaction, or lack thereof, they didn't notice anything out of the ordinary. Except she was a necromancer, a witch, a leader of the cult. Your surroundings, you spy the faintest sign of footprints, presumably belonging to your new acquaintance. You okay, okay. Yeah, that was. It's well. Let's continue. In the end, you can learn a lot of information about bars, towns, inhabitants, bandits. But you will do it by yourself. And off we go. Oh, of course, off we go. It was a long and interesting quest with plenty of little quests. And I hope, friends, you enjoy it, cause this is where this first quest gonna end. We got plenty of experience, we got a good reward, and all our characters level up. Friend, if you like it, hit a like button, and of course subscribe, cause this is only a beginning of a huge adventure in your arc line. Don't miss it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Meet you there.